To recap, 10 persons have been arrested and charged. They hold employment passes and dependence passes. At the time of their applications, none of them were on Interpol's red notice. As I updated earlier, police has been casting its net much wider than these 10. Investigations are ongoing and many persons have been interviewed, and more will be. They include Singaporeans, permanent residents, and those on different types of immigration passes. Anyone who is found complicit in the wrongdoing after ongoing investigations will be dealt with in accordance with the law, regardless of their immigration status or whether they are Singapore citizens. We have frameworks in place for the assessment of applications for work passes and other long-term immigration facilities. The frameworks incorporate information from multiple sources and agencies. Applications are, applicants are screened against a database of blacklisted individuals. We use data analytics to identify and scrutinize higher risk applications. Foreigners convicted of an offense in Singapore may be deported from Singapore and in some cases banned permanently. Mr. Bui asked whether we work with foreign governments to verify the information provided by applicants. Where the agencies have suspicions, we do so. Our Singapore overseas missions also help to verify the authenticity of the documents. However, given the volume of applications, it is not possible to conduct verification checks for all of them. Members will appreciate that no screening process is foolproof. We will review how to tighten our verification checks at various points. At the same time, we should be sensible. Most people are not illegal money launderers or criminals. If we make the rules too tight, then it is the vast majority of innocent applicants who will be unnecessarily penalised. The crooks will still try to find a way around the rules. So we need rules, we need to apply them, let us be careful about knee-jerk reactions, which may make our business environment unfriendly. What we need are rules which are internationally accepted and workable. Our task is to minimise the risks and increase our ability to catch these persons without affecting the majority of proper legal transactions.